You guys want to talk about the thickness of the Galaxy Z Fold 7 one more time? For the last several weeks, we have been getting so many different figures. First off, we had this article on Android Headlines in collaboration with OnLeaks, and they gave these dimensions. And in their dimensions, they said that the thickness would be just 4.5 millimeters when unfolded. That is down from 5.6 millimeters with the Galaxy Z Fold 6. And everyone said, wow, that is a very, very impressive reduction in thickness. They are now in range of the 4.2 millimeter Oppo Find N5, but not surpassing it. Then we got this very dubious report from some Greek tech blog that said it was going to be even thinner than that, but they gave the folded dimensions and they said it was like 8.2 millimeters thick when folded, which would have put it like way thinner than anything else. I told you guys that was complete and utter nonsense, and it was. And then, to complicate things even more, we got information from Ice Universe, who is a very reputable tech leaker, that the Galaxy Z Fold 7 would not be 4.5 millimeters thick, but would instead be 3.9 millimeters thick. That would make it the thinnest book style foldable on the planet. But what's really weird about this was that the length and the width were the exact same numbers that Android Headlines, again in collaboration with OnLeaks, who is a very reputable tech leaker, it's the exact same numbers as them, just the thickness was changing. So how did they come up with different thickness numbers? What does it all mean? Well guys, I think we finally, finally have the answer. The fog has cleared. We truly do probably know how thick this thing's going to be. And it's kind of a funny solution to this problem. At 5.49 this morning, OnLeaks tweeted this. Is anyone able to measure and give me the exact and precise thickness of the Galaxy Z Fold 6, please? Seems slightly unrelated. But then we got this response from Ice Universe, who said, the calculation method of Samsung's official data does not include the thickness of the protruding bezel, so the actual thickness is 0.5 millimeter higher than Samsung's data. OnLeaks responds and says, that's exactly what I thought, and thus the Z Fold 7 actually is 4.5 millimeters thick, including the protruding bezel, not 3.9. You can see this little thing here that he's posted. He's got this render, which is apparently very accurate. And you can see this is the body of the device, but the bezel protrudes. It sticks out a little bit so that when the device closes, it's the bezel that's touching and it keeps the screen from touching on the inside. I would imagine that's probably the reason for that. So he's measuring the body plus the bezel. Ice Universe was measuring just the body not the bezel, and this came, apparently, this was Samsung's measurement somehow they got a hold of, and they don't include the bezel, because I guess that's not really, like, internal, like, there's nothing inside the bezel, there aren't any internals in there, so the body is that size. It's like saying that I'm actually six foot two because I'm wearing a hat that sticks up off of my head by two or three inches or something like that. Is that, you know, part of me? I know that that's kind of not exactly the same thing, but you can kind of understand what I'm getting at. I do also really quickly want to point out that the math is not math in here. So 3.9 plus 0.5 will be 4.4, not 4.5. But I think that we're well enough within range for that to make sense. So then the next question you have to ask is, how is everyone else measuring their phones? Are they including the bezels? Or are they not including the bezels? Does the Fold 7 bezel stick up more than the Fold 6 bezel did? These are all very, very complicated questions that I don't honestly know the answer to. So we're going to make a run to our local Harbor Freight to go buy a caliper so that we can measure phones. We're headed home, caliper in hand, apparently accurate down to 0.02 millimeters. I think that will be good enough. It was $49. So uh, if you appreciate what I'm about to do, maybe hit that super thanks down below and help me out a little bit for this investment. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I do it for the love of the game. We're going to be contributing data, real data, to the world. We're going to find out how thick are these phones really. Is the bezel included? Who knows? We're about to. All right, we have our caliper here. We are set to millimeters. We're zeroed out, and we have our Galaxy Z Fold 6. We're going to be measuring... I'm going to measure on this side because there's a screen protector on that side and that might mess it up a little bit. This is supposed to be 5.6 
millimeters thick. Now, I'm going to be very careful because this is weirdly sharp, right? I don't think this, this is meant <laughs> for measuring screens, but whatever. We're going to do it anyways. And as you can see here, we are at about 6.2 millimeters, and I had a pretty good grip on that. Let's actually make sure that I didn't just damage my phone <laughs> anyway. I don't believe that I did. 6.2 millimeters. Now, it was supposed to be 5.6 millimeters, so we have added quite a bit, about half of a millimeter, a little bit more than half of a millimeter. We're right in range for what Ice Universe said that bezel's protrusion could be adding. And if we do the exact same experiment on my Oppo Find N5, 4.2 millimeters turns into 4.56 millimeters. So their bezel is adding about 0.3 of a millimeter. It's not quite as much as what Samsung is doing, but it does seem clear, at least from this brief experimentation, that when we're looking at these measurements online, they aren't including those bezels in their measurement. So if we go back to this exchange between Ice Universe and OnLeaks, where Ice Universe was giving the measurement the way that everyone apparently seems to be giving the measurement, not including the bezel protruding, it's going to be 3.9 millimeters. If you want to take the bezel into account, then yes, it's 4.4, 4.5 millimeters, but... You also have to keep in mind that the Z Fold 6 then is not 5.6 millimeters. It's actually closer to 6.2, 6.1 millimeters. So these are a lot of numbers, but I think that now we at least have an understanding of what's going on, why these two reputable tech tipsters were not in agreement on this thickness while they did agree on the other dimensions. The reality was we were taking the measurement of the Z Fold 7 minus the bezel and comparing that against the Oppo Find N5 with the bezel. And that is not a fair fight. So we need to get the numbers lined up correctly. With the bezels both included, we have a Z Fold 7 that's going to be around 4.4, 4.5 millimeters. And we have an Oppo Find N5 that I just measured to be 4.5 millimeters and let's give a little bit of a leeway there just for my own human error i would say that the assumption here should be the z fold 7 and the find in 5 are going to be basically the exact same thickness at least from what i can tell based on this new information now ladies and gentlemen i no longer have a functioning twitter account so if any of you would like to screen cap my part of the video where i showed the measurement and send this over to mr steve mcfly himself and give this information if no one else has already posted it so far i don't think anyone's given like super specific measurements this guy here said that it was six millimeters but that's not accurate that's not what i got so if someone wants to screen cap me and send this make sure you put a link to the video too in there i would definitely appreciate that and that might help Help spread this information around a little bit more guys let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below subscribe for more content like this and until next time stay nerdy my friends